Next question is from Dance Girl. When is it appropriate to sit or stand for an exercise? For example, seated dumbbell curls versus standing dumbbell curls. What difference does sitting versus standing make? Do you guys have a major dog in this fight? I just, I prefer standing. That's just my preference. Yeah, you're a dork, though. But yeah. <laughs> you're an athlete. Yeah. <laughs> Pure athlete. Just fuck you, you bodybuilder. I know. I sit a lot because of that. I'm yeah. saying, like, uh, yeah. we're really splitting hairs, in my opinion. Um, yeah. I can make a case, though, for this why. This is the division here between us. Yeah. So. Well, I, I, yeah. I could definitely make a case for why standing is better. Uh, if if you were to ask, if I had to defend one, that one being better than the other, I, I think it's obvious. I think we would all agree standing is better. Yeah, it's just overall functional ability. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just you're going to burn more calories. You're well, standing. You have to incorporate because so. a, a, a seated dumbbell curl or a seated shoulder press, um, you completely take your lower half out of the equation. So mm -hmm. you, you're, you're having to stabilize with your trunk and core a little bit and then mm -hmm. everything up. Uh, if you're standing, you have to do all that, plus your legs and feet have to stabilize. So there's going to be a higher caloric expenditure. There's going to be more stabilization involved. So for those reasons, I can make the case that it's technically better. But we're talking about splitting hairs here. Yeah. And and honestly, uh, at the bodybuilder in me, um, when I'm trying to build, I don't actually I don't address cal when I lift. Uh, and in the when I'm building and sculpting a physique, I'm actually not worried. I actually don't want to burn a bunch of extra calories. Right. I'm there to just focus on my shoulders. I don't want to make the Maximize exercise. Maximize the squeeze of that particular right. muscle. I don't want to make the yeah. exercise more challenging right. than what it already is. So if I'm doing bicep curls and shoulder press, I'm seated because I want to focus on that muscle. But for overall function and health and, yeah. and, and general also to population. Kinda, yeah, argue in your direction uh, in terms of like teaching too. I'll, I'll take a, a, a seated curl over standing just because there's less uh, stimulus. There's less, uh, you know, things that I have to, to cue in terms of, uh, you know, having them to just focus in on like what the, the function is, you know, supposed to provide in terms of like where their elbow position needs to be, like how they need to hold their, their body in position. Like there's just a lot less factors, uh, you know, to work on besides, you know, standing up because yes, you do have to be able to really control your body and, and stabilize everything, you know, with, with more intensity. Yeah, see, Seated is good for uh, if you want to do a really controlled movement and you really want to feel the target muscles, then seated can be cool. That's why bodybuilders like seated so much. Remember, bodybuilders are always looking to target uh, you know, a specific muscle and feel it more in that particular muscle. And there's some benefit to that. Um, there's some benefit to for muscle growth uh, for that, but not because it's necessarily better at muscle growth, but sometimes connecting to a muscle a little bit better can make that happen. It, it negates body movement a lot. So if I'm seated and I'm doing a curl or overhead tricep extension or a shoulder press, I'm less likely to use momentum and the rest of my body to move a weight. Um, for functional purposes, though, standing's the best. No, um, yeah. If you're if you're a person, if I mean, to me, that's the, the the divide here. Who should do what? If you are the the functional guy or girl, mm -hmm. and like that's what you're all about. You love mobility. You're all about the the total body working together, and like in general health and fitness, like I'm pushing you standing everything. Mm -hmm. But if you're the guy who's just like, I'm trying, I really want to build my delts. I really want to build my bicep. I care about sculpting my physique. Then fucking sit down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it's, it's, and at the end of the day, both people can do both and be completely fine and still be functional and still build incredible yep. physiques. There's not, right. it's that, that's that small of a deal. It's not worth really debating. Now argument. here's where it gets a little complicated, right? Cause then I have people, these are the hyper functional trainer trainers. These are the trainers that are like, everything needs to be oh, super God. functional. Stand on a ball or a BOSU <laughs> yeah. ball. Well, stuff. well, even before that they'll say, okay, a bench press is not functional because you're lying down. You should do a standing chest press, a cable chest press where you're, Bracing yeah, let's yourself do a much more uh, less effective exercise well, version of it. And, and and now why is it less effective? It's less effective because if I'm doing a standing chest press with cables, that's uh, which, what's his face? What's that guy that we that we get annoyed by every once in a while? Functional patterns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. because he's, I'm standing, I'm yeah. limited by how much weight I can use. I can't push as, or I can't row as much. If I'm doing like a cable row and I'm standing, I'm not going to be able to row as much as if I'm doing a seated cable row. So now I'm not able to exert as much force and build as much strength and muscle. So there are some benefits, you know, that kind of go both ways. Like, is it more functional to do a chest press standing versus a bench press on a bench? Not necessarily. If I get stronger on a bench press, that overall strength gain is going to overpower the fact that you're doing a chest press and you're standing. I'm going to build more muscle 
and more strength. So it's not as simple as one is necessarily always more functional, one is you know necessarily better for isolation or whatever. Um, I would say this, uh, for most people listening right now, mix them all up. Yeah. Mix them all up, see how they feel, enjoy. I, I many times will do a standing circus press or dumbbell press or standing push press with the barbells, and then lots of times I'll sit down at a 90 bench and do shoulder presses there. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm very inconsistent with doing the same thing all the time. I think there's yeah. value to being able to push something over your head in a seated position, to push something over your head in a standing mm-hmm. position, mm-hmm. and... I think it it's really splitting hairs on trying to make the argument that one is better than the yeah, other. I just tended to go with the one that's harder. <laughs> you always pick the hard one. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs>